So what we're doing today is the kind of roadside fishing around Amanes. Here in Vindel River, it's both grayling and trout fishing. We're gonna do our best to have some good grayling fishing today. Weather is outstanding, mild weather, not too hot. What we really prefer is that it's no wind. And today I'm gonna show the ad like advanced technical setups that I use for grayling fishing that at least I feel that when I introduce the style of fishing for my guiding clients, then they're quite surprised about it. So I thought I'd show it in a video. What is quite unique with how I fish though, is that I have two rods carrying with me, both an 11 foot three weight, and in this case, a nine foot four weight as well. So I'm gonna do several methods here. I'm gonna explain a little bit where I think both is suitable and how I change them depending on the conditions. Let's get into it. I didn't start to fish before my plans got interfered by other people. Coming in to fish the spot I intended to fish, it was no problem, they were super friendly. But this is totally the reason why I carry two rods. I'll explain more later. Here we go. First fish of the day. So. As soon as I came into this little side stream here, I hooked into the first grayling. There. Here we go. First grayling. Going back. We are having uh, grayling rising just in front of me here. So there was one just here under my rod tip. So I just tapped the rod. I just tapped the rod to get the fly fall off the to fall off the rod. And I'll see if that distance is enough to hook a grayling here. It's quite tricky fishing so far. Only caught one grayling on him, and I would like to show some more off on camera. I still have plenty of this area. I have this backwater here, which I'm trying now with the dry fly. It's almost still water. Then we have this small channel coming. Then we have more calm water on the other side, which can, it, it is a little bit of more of a flow over the calm water there. So we might do that with a nymph if we don't see any rice. One thing you might not know about my nymphing setup is now, nowadays there is a nymphing line which has both the nymphing tip, which is a thin part of fly line, but then further in here you have a belly, so you're actually able to cast this further. In scenarios I use that personally is an example like this. When you want to nymph fish with some distance, you're able to cast this actually like a normal VF line. So you can reach out, almost like still water tactics here. Trying to present this name for fish that is cruising around in this backwater. I don't know how you can summarize one hour of fishing with just one small grayling. I've been fishing just uh, the majority nymph, tried a little bit with dry fly at uh, some current seams when it, where I saw grayling rising. When other people came out here like this fishing, it's such a clear, like it's such a good example of why I like this uh, double rod setup because I never get disappointed. I mean, there's always something you can fish if you're just a little bit creative. So now they came, I could be friendly to them, let them fish where they wanted and I could just swap. I was intending to fish with dry fly, but uh, then I went with nymph instead. Uh, walking down here to the little bit calmer waters. I thought I'd continue with dry fly because that's a big goal for me today. Catch fish on dry fly. But uh, then the wind came a little bit, so we might search up the next stream section instead. I felt the right thing to do was to leave the dry fly fishing for later and continue to do new fishing. So I moved on to another stream. In front of me is a very even stream and I just want to try to pick out the small pockets with a little bit deeper water and those tend to hold a fish or two. Leading each drift with the nymph with the rod tip downstream of the nymphs. This gives the best contact so I can detect as many strikes as possible. There we go, that's a brown trout. Cool. I 
crazy jumps it did in the beginning. That's definitely a brownie. Oh, maybe I gave it the wrong idea to go into the branches down below here. Take it a little bit off stream instead. <laughs> it is crazy lively. Ah, come on. Get in the net, I want to show you. Whoa, nice. What a good start on this place. I'm gonna be careful with this fish. It has the genes to one day grow really big, but it's uh, gonna measure it. It's size reference is very difficult from a GoPro picture, but I guess it's maybe above 30 centimeter. Yeah, it is uh, like 36, 37 centimeter. Catching brown trout on him in this section of the river is quite rare because we have the migratory behavior of these brown trout. They leave downstream when they're quite young and they return as bigger fish. So this is most likely going to be leaving very soon to return as an adult for spawn. grayling here. Took on the top fly. Seems to stay fairly calm here so I think I just hand land it. There. Even today's biggest. About the size of the trout before. Put up less of a fight though in comparison. There. Ooh, good strike. That's quite small. The next cast. Starting to pick up now, or I found the spot. As well on the top fly. There, flies off. I don't wanna, if I just release it from the top nymph, it's a risk that I foul hook it. So I need to be a little bit careful. I can easily snag into the next fly instead. Over the course of the next hours, I drove around I visited multiple stream stretches. The light breeze that wasn't to be seen on the forecast stayed in its presence. So I kept fishing with the new. Fishing was good, but yet I haven't found any grayling that stood out in size. Having a slight change of plans, I just met up a guy who has been fishing yesterday and he lost two big migrating brown trout. So just got this spark in me that I wanted to try for them. So I'm gonna do that quickly and then uh, swap back for the other type of fishing later. But fishing a flash tail bait fish here on a seven weight slow-mo line. Gonna sneak through these trees here and See if I can get a fly out. So these brown trout can be super hard to get. It can be days or weeks of fishing without a without a catch. So 
it's not always, always I feel like doing this kind of fishing. I like the grayling fishing a lot, so do that mostly. But if I got a good opportunity and the feeling takes me, then I love to swing for a little bit of trout. But I don't expect catching anything, so that way I don't get disappointed if I don't. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> Yep, we have something. I think it's a grayling actually. Good take. I was fishing it quite aggressive, this bait fish. And a small trout comes and take it. It's not the size I was after, but it seems like the fly is working at least. It is uh, one of these uh, flies that I've been taking from uh, the coastal fishing and just apply to wherever I'm fishing. It's a very good fly. As faith would have it, on the place where I intended to fish for brown trout, the wind stopped. Then a few first rises started to appear, so ran back to the car, got the other rod, and after some wading back and forth, I managed to get into position to one grayling that I could actually reach. Hey. That was nice, even though it's not very big. <laughs> Comes the first grayling on dry today. Ooh, that. Yep. This is slightly better. Maybe it's not so big because it's going just with me here. Now I got it on the reel. Let's see how big it is. Hopefully more than 20. Could be a decent fish. I haven't much done much against it either so far. So. Oh, it's a good grayling. It's a good grayling. Perhaps the biggest today. Oof, it's a good fight. Just have 0 13 tippet. On a five weight rod, it's quite stiff rod. So I have to be careful. Now I got it up in the surface. There, yes. Yeah, 40 plus at least. Nice. So as we've been moving towards more calm areas, where the nymph rod is not so suitable. I'm going to, uh, I've been carrying the streamer rod instead for the chance for a trout. But uh, so far it's been dominating dry fly here. Um, and I caught this nice, which I feel it was exactly what I was after. Today it's just over 40. No enormous grayling, but 
for me I'm very happy with such a fish when I catch it on, on dry fly. See it there. That's nice, showing its sail too for us. How awesome. Wow. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> okay, <laughs> it escaped. <laughs> Grayling can be so hard to handle. Insane. <laughs> but I'm very happy. That was fun. Gonna go out, try again for, uh, for catching another on dry fly. But uh, that definitely made my day. Oh boy. Saw it. Tough waiting out here. Had to go on my toes to reach out and then first presentation on the fish and I took it. Nice. If you're looking for a fishing trip to northern Sweden, be sure to check out the link in the video description where you find information about our lodges and guided fishing. Gonna give it a go now with the streamer instead. Haven't seen any more rising fish, so. Whew. Came a trout chasing after right away. Small though. Oh yeah, try to eat it. Yeah, there, I'm on. It's not so small, it's a good grayling. It's a big grayling. Oh my God. Just changing method like this. I'm stranding with dry fly here and saw nothing rise. And then this comes after. I think it's the biggest today. Oh yeah, it's heavy. Oh yeah, it's definitely the biggest today. On a streamer. Mobile flash, flash tail bait fish. <laughs> Strong even on a seven weight. Zero 33 tippet, so it's not gonna be any concern during this fight. It's more about having the hook staying in. That's the problem. Hopefully it's good hooked. It's going upstream. You can see it through the water. It's not monstrous. I think it's High 40 somewhere in that range. So beautiful colors though. Perfect sail. Good size. Net this out. Oh, so beautiful. I can have 50 here. 48 or something, in fall. For streamer. Yeah. Hello, Albin. Hello. How is fishing going? Quite slow for the moment. Three <laughs> small ones. Well, that's good. Soon I will be in your league, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a... yeah, that's a beautiful one. Mm -hmm. oh, it's just a pattern on this grayling. You think I'm gonna drop it? Brought the trout net and it's so deep. It even got a mark here. Like they have a look like a, the graylings in southern uh, Europe with the spots, but these have much bigger mouths. And the blue fins. Mm, super blue. Look at that. Oh, it's not 50. 47, 48, what amazing condition. 
chunky. Streamer for the win. Streamer for the win. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, it's heavy. Look at that. Nice. I can let it go back. Oh, it was ready. <laughs> Nice man. Good fun, good yeah, fun. Really. Thanks for filming. No <laughs> to be honest, if it is fast moving water, there is nothing that can measure up to tight line nymphing like I did early in the video with an for example, the 11 foot 3 weight that I used. It is just so effective. So the three setups that I've been using today makes up a great... It, it covers a wide range of fishing scenarios mostly, the way I see it. But what have changed things for me is this rod mount from Opro. I have used it in other videos and I made a video just about it. But since then they've come up with a new version which is so easy to rotate and lock into any position. So you can just use this as a rod holder for your second rod when you're out fishing. I think it's phenomenal. I was given this rod holder from Fly Dressing, which is the Swedish distributor. They uh, just wanted me to give it a go and I've been loving it ever since. It is so good. But then for the medium fast water, so the Nymph rod, has this longer bellied line so I can cast longer. And this one is uh, also possible to put on a nymph for an indicator so I can cast that further for a nymph presentation, for example. So they are very good in this medium range. But the slow moving water here, I prefer dry fly. It is so good and so fun. <sighs> oh, these bugs. You see any rising fish? No, they're all, only too far away. It's always like this, you know. You come to a spot, you think it should be perfect, but then they're always too far. Oh, oh slow here. Yeah, of course. So yeah, we're heading back now. The surface activity didn't live up to uh, our expectations really here. So, uh, but I've had great dry fly fishing earlier on. So here you have an example of uh, a video of just super dry fly fishing in this area. So see you over there.